What's up Disney Infiniteers? Welcome to today's video where we check out all of the 2023 Star Wars May the 4th community creations for Disney Infinity 3.0. It's another year of Disney Infinity's toy box creators coming together all around the globe to create new Star Wars inspired content in the game for May the 4th. So grab a drink, get some food, and sit back while I recap all of the new Disney Infinity May the 4th toy box creations inside our beloved game. The Bowtie Guy kicks things off this year with his Obi-Wan series inspired toy box entitled Escape from the Fortress Inquisitorious. In this toy box, you're basically going to help Obi-Wan rescue Princess Leia. Now, there are so many layers to this, I don't even know where to begin. Bowtie Guy has created a brand new world within his toy box from infiltrating the base all the way to making your way to each of the three emitters. Eventually you'll be able to take control of Obi-Wan at the fortress. Now since this fortress is sitting on the top of an active volcano, Bowtie Guy did an incredible job of recreating the look and feel of the base, as well as taking inspiration from other Star Wars games and genres. I mean, just look at this part of the bridge with the beautiful fixed camera angle, active volcano, and smoke. Just a truly breathtaking scene he created here. Then you'll make your way up to another massive elevator to find the Inquisitor. You'll battle some more enemies in this area and use the force on the Sith Holocron. This will open it up and showcase a new area that opens up within his toy box. Now he mentioned he loved building this area, especially the smoke for the lava, which looks incredible up close here. You'll then come across the tomb, which he encapsulates perfectly in this part of the toy box. I absolutely loved the attention to detail in this section. Keep fighting against foes to reach the final area where you can take out some more enemies and eventually make your way to Leia. And in the end, you'll be able to save her from the fortress battle. The entire toy box looks like a phenomenal experience and I really wanted to dust off my disc and play it myself. Absolutely stunning work, Bowtie Guy. A newcomer to this year's event, international toy box creator Tony2010 Pro created a few Star Wars racing tracks to show off. First is this pod race inspired racetrack he built on Tatooine. Throughout the race, he has a lot of simple turns and ramps which make for a fun race. He also created this racetrack which is a Death Star inspired track. You can see Darth Vader racing on a vehicle because why not? This is what I always loved about Disney Infinity. Zero limits, just fun and creative stuff that fans could build inside the toy box. While these two race tracks are simple in design, it's great to see new creators making content for our beloved Disney Infinity games. Nice job, Tony. Infinity Nick joined in on the event creating this sweet Star Wars race based in Tatooine. I really enjoyed this track's design quite a bit. The verticality was great with the ramps and bridges, especially in this section shown here. It's a quick yet tightly crafted track which looks fantastic and has a great flow to it while racing on it. Nick did a great job of nailing the feel of tattooing here, and it's always great to see some more racing courses created in the toy box. Next up is 72 Pringle. The toy box veteran created an amazing video highlighting his years of breathtaking work inside Disney Infinity. Pringle showcases and discusses his past Star Wars creations. Now he's been creating stuff for many, many years, so walking through some of his best Star Wars stuff was simply stunning. He showcased a ton of content such as the Battle of Tariff, Moss Eisley towns he's built, space battles among the stars, and just so, so much more. He also talked about some of his training ground missions he's built for Jedis too. He even once built a high train level which showcase the amazing detail, not only with the moving trains, but the camera movements and changing the perspective he created. He also talked about the derailing of the trains he created, which looks absolutely incredible. I remember being blown away by this the first time I saw it, and now it's really crazy to watch all these years later. Speaking of collisions, he also showcased his creation where he had two Star Destroyers crash into each other over the Scarif Gates. 
I mean, look at this. This is amazing. It's truly remarkable what 72 Pringles has accomplished over the years inside Disney Infinity's toy box. Lastly, he also showcased a trench run he created in the toy box too. Now he's created so many things, I can't even showcase all of it here, but I definitely recommend going back and checking out his full video. 72 Pringles is one of the best toy box creators ever. What a treat. Comic Book Deep Dive, aka DH Artist, returns with a cool new toy box too. He's created a remote New Republic outpost inspired by one of the brief locations seen in season three of The Mandalorian, and he absolutely nailed the aesthetics of this toy box. It's great to see all the detail he put into this toy box with the buildings and the landing pads, as well as the use of ships and other details. He also built a cantina for the rebel pilots to go grab a drink during their rebellion fighting. Alongside the visuals, he has a few cool things to note that you can do inside the toy box. He built a section where you can take out the probe droids. The cool thing about this part is that you can race around the water on a speeder to do so. Now, what's really amazing here is to see how dynamic he made the water feel with waves and whatnot. Looks really fun in action. You'll also have another section where you'll take out stormtroopers who arrive at the base. So, as shown here, this is no problem for Zeb as he battles off the enemies. It's just always fun to watch combat sequences and it looks so great in this toy box world that he's created. Finally, he has a dogfight section where you can hop into one of the many ships at the base. Once you take flight, you'll notice enemies in the air where you can fight them and take down the opposition above the base. Note how big and detailed this base actually is. Just another incredible toy box by DH Artist. Really loved watching this entire thing played through. Clinton returns this year creating a Star Wars Day toy box which features Han Solo who has been sent to a junkyard on a remote planet by Princess Leia to investigate Imperial activity. Clinton's toy box was loosely based on Shadows of the Empire, an old N64 classic, and it features quite a bit of Imperial activity too. The world he created looks fantastic with the lava and bases he's crafted with Within this toy box. As you defeat Imperial officers, you will receive a key from them. Eventually, you'll get to this platform section where you can ride the platform across the landscape and it looks great. I really love the aesthetics here and the smoke is a really nice touch from the lava below. Clinton even managed to add in giant blades of death so you really can't relax on this platform. Additionally, he has other obstacles of death such as saws that will intensify this section just to say the least. Eventually, you'll make your way across the factory via more platforming sections, and you'll fight off more enemies. The factory itself is so well designed with all kinds of details, such as moving boxes, conveyor belts, and so much more. All with that iconic Star Wars design we all love in Infinity. Then you'll get to the end, and you'll find out what the enemy has been hiding. And it is... Oh man, what a cliffhanger. And you thought the Empire Strikes Back was a cliffhanger. Ha! Huh. Incredible toy box from Clinton. Love the gameplay and creativity of this toy box. Dayrise returns this year with this new Bo-Katan mod. This looks incredible, and it features Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian, The Clone Wars, and Star Wars Rebels, now playable in Disney Infinity. Now, the creator also mentioned that, quote, variations include both the Night Owl shoulder pad and the Mythosaur shoulder pad. Not much else to say here other than what an entry for the May the 4th event. Sweet idea and mod day rise. Now we have a new creator to this event, Gunny69, crafting a Star Wars adventure for all of us entitled Star Wars Battle on Iskull. In this toy box, Luke must infiltrate an Imperial base. So across the forest he goes, eventually making his way to the impressive base. Now I love the design and rooms here. Here, you'll fight off many enemies and utilize consoles to gain access to more areas. I absolutely love the look of this toy box. Really felt like an Imperial base with enemy placement and positioning. Keep progressing and Luke will make his way outside where he's met with a beautiful scene of multiple AT-ATs and a Star Destroyer in the sky. I love this. Not only does the battle with enemies look good as you see the incredible detail on the base here, but Darth Vader himself makes an appearance and battles with Luke. After you put Vader in his place, Luke can then make his way to the X-Wing where the next part of the toy box begins. 
the air battle. Not only will you have dogfights with the TIE fighters high above the base, but you'll actually get to shoot down the Star Destroyer. Gunny shows the incredible effect of the destroyer crashing down in the water below. I absolutely loved the ending to this toy box, and for a new creator to join the event just shows the talent and creativity of toy box creators. Amazing work, Gunny. I really loved, loved, loved this toy box. Next, we have Papa H in his Rogue One toy box. He starts the mission off on Yavin 4, which looks incredible. Papa H even included this briefing room from A New Hope. Loved that detail. If that wasn't cool enough, Papa even created the perfect lookout tower from the movie, and I absolutely loved the nostalgia and detail on this one. Once you get your marked X-Wing, you'll rise up in the air and just see how breathtaking this toy box is. Featured is the Yavin Temple and the Rebel ships in the background, just a beautiful shot right here. Now, once you get out of hyperspace, you'll touch down on a secret location on Jeddah, just outside the city. You'll make your way through Imperial forces as you progress in this toy box, eventually navigating through some beautifully crafted canyons. I just really love the scenery and build of this toy box. You'll then gain access to a speeder bike where you'll be able to take off towards the city of Jeddah which looks incredible in infinity, I might add. Once you're inside the city, you'll make your way across the iconic market as seen in Rogue One, fighting off enemies and even the reinforcements as they came to attack too. This is an incredible looking toy box to say the least. Once you clear out the Imperial forces, you'll see the Star Destroyer leave the atmosphere. You'll then face off with even more enemies, attacking aggressively in this nicely crafted battlefield. You will, however, be captured, but Fret not, you'll make your way out of the cell and begin facing off with more opponents who are in your way. However, despite your best attempts, the Death Star will fire and you will be in big, big trouble. What Papa H creates next is the planet being destroyed and it's quite breathtaking. Not only will you make your escape with other people, but you'll see explosions all around you as you exit the planet. Papa H created not only an authentic Rogue One experience, but really nailed the Star Wars feel in this toy box. Truly remarkable and creative with inspirations from Rogue One all over it. Finally, we have Lion HD, the organizer of this Disney Infinity May the 4th event. Now, unfortunately, his game crashed and he lost a lot of progress, but that didn't stop him from the May 5th event. He actually made a bunch of great toy boxes and videos, so let's check them out. First, he made a toy box based around the Mandalorian. This toy box is entitled Chapter 8 Flashback and is centered around how the Death Watch, a group of Mandalorians, saved Din back then. Inspired by the show, it's a great toy box which nails the look and aesthetic of the series and has a ton of great action. I especially love the attention to detail in the scenery here, but most of all, I loved the use of the up house in this toy box. It really looks like it could have been something out of an official Mandalorian playset. Next, he created a racetrack inspired by the Book of Boba Fett. This is a very diverse racetrack which includes tons of ramps and well-crafted cave systems and buildings too. There's even a part where you can launch over a Sarlacc pit. Just a masterfully crafted racetrack here by Lion HD. I loved the aesthetics of this one and specifically the unique design of the buildings and landscapes. He also created a video detailing Boba Fett's skill tree for those looking to still level up their Infinity figure. He provides some in-depth analysis and tips for those looking for the best upgrades to invest into the skill tree. However, his tips didn't stop there as he also created a video detailing fans on how they can create two beautiful Star Wars Mandalorian ships step by step. So if you're an inspiring toy box creator yourself, I highly recommend checking this one out as he really does a phenomenal job not only showcasing you how to build these ships, but also the creativity in the toy box itself. And I hope it inspires more toy box creators out there to hop onto Disney Infinity and create some magic of their own. Finally, Lion HD closes the event out giving fans a short preview of his upcoming Star Wars The Mandalorian Chapter 3 toy box inspired by the new season. As you can see from this footage he is looking to create something epic. He mentioned that currently there is no logic in the toy box but the building process for the underground section of Mandalorians as well as the forge is completely done. He is currently creating something amazing and even mentioned that so far this is his hardest and most time consuming toy box that he's ever built. 
that's saying something. He also asks fans to leave comments for ideas, so if you do have some, definitely pass them along. Lion's videos are all in German, but English subtitles are available for those who speak English as well. Incredible stuff, Lion. Now shout out once again to all the amazing toy box creators who came together for this event. It makes me so happy and proud to see this amazing community come together another year to celebrate our love for Star Wars and more specifically, Disney Infinity. This was a special showing and I can't wait to see what's next for our community. Now I've left links to all the original videos in the description below, so make sure to check them all out and support your fellow creators. So Infiniteers, with that, what do you think of all these May the 4th event creations for Disney Infinity 3.0. Have any favorites? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for all the latest Disney Infinity news and content.